Hi everybody, Loaded Zero here with a look at the equipment you'll need to DIY a smart home and how much it could cost you. There are many other combinations of products you can use, but I'll show you what I have and I'll give you other suggestions. The main equipment you'll need at least for a basic smart home is shown here. So you need the internet, so here's my modem. This is my router, I use the Airport Express. This is the smart home hub, I use smart things. This is the Philips Hue hub for light bulbs. And this is my hard drive, which doesn't belong in this video. The Wink Hub is another popular smart home hub, and it costs about the same as smart things. The Philips Hue came with three bulbs, which is why it's expensive. Starting in the garage, there's an attachment you see on top of the garage door opener that controls the opener. The kit goes for around $85 and comes with a sensor so you can tell whether the garage is open or closed. My smart home setup knows when I'm coming home and opens the garage door for me. It also closes it if I forgot to close it when I leave the home. The door that leads into the house from the garage has a Z-Wave quick set lock with handle. This sells for about $150 normally. It has a keypad I can use to input a code so I don't need to carry a house key with me. Usually I don't even have to put in a code because it unlocks when I come home along with my garage door opener. Into my kitchen, you see my light switches. The left one is always left on for my Hue light bulbs. The far right one is the GE Z-Wave light switch. It looks kind of weird because it doesn't have an up and down position. It just clicks up and down to manually turn the lights on or off. I originally tried to change all the switches to this, but the light switch box is too big to sit side by side. That's why I ended up using the Hue light bulbs for these kitchen island lights. Another advantage of these Hue light bulbs is besides being able to change color, they can also do color temperatures of white. We like to take a lot of photos in the kitchen, so that helps make our photos look better. The chandelier light is what's connected to the Z-Wave switch. It turns on automatically when I come home at night so I don't have to walk into complete darkness. This is the Arlo Q camera that I reviewed in another video. When it's in arm mode, it will turn on all the lights when it detects motion to scare any intruders away. So here's another Z-Wave light switch. This one works with our living room light, so it's great when we're watching TV and we don't want to get up to turn on and off the lights. Because remember, you can use your cell phone or tablet to turn these lights on or off. This lamp has my last hue bulb in it. They work pretty good in lamps because you can move it around and you can set it to whatever color you want depending on your mood. This is by far our most used smart home gadget. It's the Amazon Echo. We use it to control all our smart home items via our voice. Alexa, turn on the kitchen lights. Okay. Alexa, turn off the kitchen lights. Okay. We basically never touch the light switches anymore with Alexa there. I barely ever open the front door except to get deliveries, but the front door also has a quick set lock. This is about $140 because it's a deadbolt only style. The lock also has the keypad in the front, so you don't need keys for that. This also is set up to lock when I leave the house, just in case. So now we head on upstairs to what we call the media room. It's just an extra bonus room we have in our house. So this room also has the Z-Wave light switch. This controls both of these lights overhead. And next to my gaming computer setup here is the Echo Dot. Alexa, turn on the media room light. Okay. Alexa, turn off the media room light. Okay. They're much cheaper than the normal Amazon Echo, but does pretty much the same stuff. Remember when I said I couldn't put two of these switches together? Technically you can, but you need power tools that can cut through steel in a straight line. Not worth the trouble and it still has to overlap, which makes it look funny on the cover. So the light switches control this light and this light. And finally, I have another Echo Dot in the bedroom. I have a special keyword at night that I tell it so that it can arm my uh, Arlo Q camera and also lock all the doors. So how much did all that cost? Here's a rundown in Star Wars style. So I had one SmartThings hub, the Philips Hue light kit, the GE light switches, I had five of those. I have a 
one Amazon Echo and two dots, one garage door kit, two door locks, and one Arlo Q. Essentially it cost me about $1300. Now I definitely didn't pay that much because I bought everything on sale and you definitely should look for when they're on sale because they do go on sale pretty often. But I also left out that I have a Harmony Hub to control my media center and I also have the Nest thermostat which controls my uh, home temperature, the heater. And that's also connected to my smart home which I left out. So you can add a couple of hundred dollars to that also. Well I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time.